In this video, I'll be walking you through Atlaster's new interface, which has been enhanced for speed and ease of use. Let's start with the dashboard. The dashboard will give you an overview of your store and your listing statuses. You can add new widgets to your dashboard by clicking the Add Widgets button on the top right hand side of the page. You can also remove widgets by clicking the X in the top right hand corner of the widget or rearrange them by simply dragging and dropping them to your preferred position. Everything related to your products can be found here. This is where you can create and edit products, add product tags or product types and make changes in bulk easily. To see a list of your products, click Products on the top menu. This is the page that was formerly called All Items on the old interface. To post, revise or end products in bulk from here, select them and then choose the desired option from the eBay drop-down menu. If you click on Settings, Atlaster will allow you to change the size of your product thumbnails, set your default sorting preference and the default view of your products list and choose the columns and filters that you want displayed on the page. Next I will be showing you how to filter your products easily on the new interface using various options. With Adlister you can find all your products that have, for example, the word green leaf in the title, belong to the scented sachets store category, are currently listed on eBay, are in stock and have variations. You can select all the options you want to filter by and then click filter. To remove a filter, just click on the X and then click filter again. To reset all your filters, click this X here. To edit a single product, click on its title or use the edit button. You can also hover over a product to see the available options. You can access your product's item specifics or variations pages from here or from the status column. You can also click preview to see how your product would look on eBay. To navigate to your live listing on eBay, click the eBay icon. The listing section is where you will find your products that have been assigned to a listing template and are either already listed or waiting to be listed on eBay. You can also add or edit your listing templates here, check your listings history and schedule them. To see all your listings, click listings on the top menu. This is the page that was formerly called all listings on the old interface. To post, revise, and or relist your listings in bulk from here, you will need to select them from the list and choose the desired option from the Actions drop-down menu. You can also reassign listing templates and create promotional sales from the Actions menu. From the Settings section, you will be able to manage all your page settings in the same way as on the Products page. To see the available options for a listing, hover over it. Having products and listings as two separate areas allows you to use the same product on different listing templates. This is useful when you have an auction and a fixed price listing as they are both linked back to that same product. Everything regarding your eBay designs can be found in a design section. This is where you will be able to create your own personal design using our template builder, preview your current listing designs and add template tags. Everything related to your images can be found in the Images section. This is where you can manage your images, for example, upload single images or upload them in bulk and change image settings. The Stores section is where you can view and amend your store categories, edit the content of your store's custom pages and manage your promotion widgets. All your Adlister settings can be found in the Settings section. In Application Settings, you will be able to edit certain account settings, such as enabling out-of-stock control, enabling the click and collect feature, setting the limit for your fixed price and auction listings, or set your item's location. The Settings section will allow you to manage your sales promotions, set your preset values for your item specifics and variations, manage your holiday settings, and set up your combined postage and payment rules. If you require further assistance, you can choose one of the options to contact us within the help menu. Raising a support ticket via our help desk is our preferred method of contact so that reported issues are logged. We hope that you like the new interface and thank you for your time.